All right, welcome to React Query Week. I'm pretty excited about this one. I'm gonna release one video each day this week, and it's all gonna be about React Query. So it's gonna be awesome and a lot to learn from it. So let's get started. Okay, let's start with the setup and installing React Query. And the first thing you can do is to actually read the documentation at react-query.tanstack.com. And this is actually pretty cool because the guy that created React Query is named Tanner Linsley. So he has this name, Tanstack, that's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and they have excellent documentation here. Um, yeah, pretty much everything you need to know. And we're going to do the installation now and set it up and stuff like that. So let's get to it. Go inside of your terminal. I'm going to use Create React App to bootstrap an application for us to use. npx create-react-app. And we're going to call it uh, react-query-setup. And then we wait for it as usual. All right, that installed correctly. I clear the console and we can check it out here. We have the folder that's called React Query Setup. So we navigate inside of that one, react-query-setup. And then we're going to install React Query. So npm i react-query. And that's actually everything we need for this little tutorial because I'm not going to do anything else. I'm not going to do a fancy UI or something like that. So that's the only package that we're going to need. So we can open up the code editor and we go inside SRC folder. I'm going to remove some stuff that we won't use. Set up tests, report web vit vitals, logo, the index.css and app.test. I remove this once. And then we have app.css and app.js left and in the index.js file i'm going to remove this stuff here the web vitals and remove this one the index.css so these are the ones that i'm going to remove and the first thing we have to do with react query is to actually create a query client and that's new from version 3 and up so we create this client and we can wrap it wherever we want in our application in our case we're going to wrap it at the highest level that is just above the app component so that we have access to React Query and everything, all the good stuff in React Query in our complete application. So you usually want to place it at the highest level if you don't want to specify it on some part deeper down the tree in your application. So what we do here is we import uh, something that's called Query Client, capital Q, Query Client and capital C, and then we need the Query client provider from React Query. So we have the query client that we're going to use to create the client, and we have the query client provider that we're going to use to wrap our app. So we have access to all the good stuff from React Query in our application. So first we create the client, create a query client, whoops, query client. And I'm going to call it query client. And in this case, I have a lowercase q. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. And then we're going to create a new query client. Make sure to call it also with a double parenthesis. So this is the one that we use here. And this will create a query client and put it in this const that we also call query client, but with a lowercase q. So that's the query client. And all we have to do now is to wrap our application with this query client. And we imported this query client provider. So we can put it here inside of react.strict mode. That is enabled by default now with create react app. So we have the query client provider. And this one takes in a prop that's called client. And you probably guessed it, we're gonna provide this query client that we created, make sure that you have the one with the lowercase q here, this one, this const. And inside of the query client provider, we move the app component. So this is everything we have to do to set up React Query. We have imported the query client and the query client provider. We created a query client with this query client that we imported here. Then we wrap our application with the query client provider and we provide it with the query client that we created here. So this will make sure that our complete application will have access to React Query and we can start querying stuff and mutate stuff 
Okay, we can also go inside the app.js file and remove some stuff here. This logo, we don't have that. And this one here, we can remove everything inside of the div with the class name of app. And we can create a p tag and type in React query is awesome. Save the file and then we start up the application just to make sure that it works. npm start. And there you have it, React Query is awesome. And I'm also going to inspect it to see that I don't have any strange stuff going on in the console. So we're good to go. We have successfully set up React Query. And this is the first part in a series of seven videos. I'm going to release one video each day this week. So make sure to subscribe and also turn on notifications if you want to have more good stuff on React Query or if you like my channel in general and my videos. So see you in the next video.